All right, folks, welcome back. This is Everyone Loves Pirates. Playing Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode and point 42.06. Checking out some of the new stuff. Uh, I got a little smart. I was wandering around like crazy and uh, couldn't really find anything. It was taking forever. Uh, however, in the fast travel mode, if we hit our M for our map, oops, let's get right on the right window. It'll actually show us around. This was something I was looking for, but I couldn't remember where it was. So um, now we can move around and see different things that are uh, nearby just by doing it this way. So I've gone into a bunch of these food import places and all it is is just food. Nothing that's been prepared, nothing that's been cooked. Um, and I've yet to see actually another tavern. <laughs> I've seen tons of everything else. Of course, the other one was over here somewhere. So if we see one, it'll probably be that again. We just go up and down the roads like this and find stuff quicker because uh, it doesn't have to pay attention to everything that's going on around us. Let's maybe head up here. This looks uh, kind of important. Inside the city walls. I'm assuming the thing that looks like a well is probably like the main castle or something. Which might be where we need to go to get some real food and maybe find a bigger tavern or something. Oh, ho, oh, ho, okay. Oh, we just lost our icons? No. Meat market, imported good markets. That's it. Food imports is different than meat market. Okay, let's, let's, let's get off here and then go west. Aha, yes, meat is much different. Um, open air market. Let's see what you got for me. Fast greeting, trade, turkey meat. Oh, and it tells you how much it is? No. Does it finally tell you how much something costs? 100 coins for turkey meat? That's kind of ridiculous. Once again, I want prepare. I want a meal. I want something that's been cooked, not just meat. Hmm. Very interesting, though. More food imports. And there's the gate again. Okay, well, let's check out this area, because this is new. We're tired. We don't want to start anything with anybody. Okay, so we got a general kind of uh, open-air market here. And this was the wall thing I was looking at. Uh, you know, we got a little... Let's check out one more area around here. So, blacksmith, lie maker, paper maker, just a plain old high-voiced human? They actually don't have to be... They aren't selling any of this stuff. Okay, let's check out this food here. Are you going to... There you go. Not run away from me like you always seem to do. Yeah, see, once again, it's just... I mean, we could butcher the same stuff. It has no quality. I need Whatever I buy needs to have a quality to it. Okay, is this it? Is this what we were looking for? I don't really know what it was, but I think this is... It. And it's big. <laughs> Can we not go up this? Apparently not. There's an entrance. So these are kind of castle wallish kind of things, it looks like. That's a big area. What's here? Barracks. Kind of looking like a storage area or something. Okay, let's let's head over here. Let's go up to start. 
see what we can see about that tower in the middle. Not a whole lot. Okay, let's go down. We couldn't go up anymore, could we? Oh, we can. Now we're really tall. Okay, well now we'll go down. Unless we can go up a little more. We'll see. Nope, okay. Oops. Ugh. I was hoping there was going to be an exit going the other way. Now we're stuck down here. I just cannot get a break today. Uh, one more. Maybe this one will work better. It's lagging quite a bit on me, just in case you're wondering. There it was, or at least, yeah, that's how you get around, but can we get in is what I want to know. Oh, so slow. I just want to get to the tower in the middle. That's getting closer. Come on, get me something. Nope. Nope. Ah, one more. Oh, you're so laggy. Well, can we just go down here? I'm about ready to go up there and jump off. Because this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, oh, almost. We are on the inside of the wall now. So we should be able to find the entrance. There's a lot of stuff going on there, which is slowing this way down. Okay, we got a bunch of priests and stuff. So this is some sort of... Uh... Wow. I have no idea what this is. Subtlety, high ruthlessness. I don't know what these things are, but they're some sort of priestly things. The Holy Hood, High Mirror, Exalted Seduction, The Holy Fog. And we got a bunch of dwarves here. And a lawgiver. And a law taker worth away. Slit eye lady that looks much like a food dwarf of some sort. Whatever that F means. Stop talking to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? I hope you're not enraged at me. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go down here, though. Because there's way too much going on up there. Okay, what do we have here? Well, we got a bunch of dwarves protecting the place. Various little things just hanging around. Let's uh, continue to look around a bit. Essentially, we can just go through there too, huh? We are quite drowsy. If we find someone, it might be worthwhile asking if we can sleep here. There's a lot of noise going on outside. Last time we went through an area like this that was super empty and was kind of scary. Well, something scary happened. <laughs> Speaking of scary, we got a lot of skeletons all over the place down here. Of 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back up. And then we're gonna go to sleep. And we're gonna hope everything around here is also gonna go to sleep when we wake up. We'll just hide out in this corner over here. No one will be able to see us. Hopefully. All right, we weren't killed in our sleep. That's good. Take a quick drink of water here. Okay, so let's uh, drink some water. Let's eat, drink two waters and then eat. Uh, we're still holding stuff in our hand. Oh crap, we should have ate twice instead. Uh, let's put away what's in our hand. Can we do that? Nope, we still don't have a place to put it. So I should be eating the other stuff probably. Okay, at least we're only hungry. In a little while we'll be able to eat. Let's go find out what killed everything down here. Or maybe they were just thrown down here. Could be like a tomb. Oh, wait, we're not sneaking. Definitely want to be sneaking. Uh, just a sock, that's disconcerting. Oh, that's it. If there was something nasty down here killing things, it is no longer here. Unless it's up here. Here's talking. Oh, not quite. Huh. <laughs> What's in the pouch? Nothing. Actually, we want that, don't we? Let's grab the pouch. Pouches should be small. And then what we can do is... Um, where'd the pouch go? It's in our backpack. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's remove the pouch. Can we strap it? Nope. Okay. And let's... Where's our, all of our gems and stuff are in our backpack and the whole bag is also in the backpack. Okay, so let's, okay, now can we put those in the pouch? Put in no we can only put one in the pouch hmm well while we're doing that let's put the the meat away yay and then oh we still have that mug <laughs> we stole his mug Let's put the pouch away. And put these jewels away if it'll let us. I want to put it. Yeah, I want to put it in the pouch. Oh, good. K into pouch. Put O into pouch. O into pouch. O into. Okay, now the pouch is full. We could put it into the mug. Interesting. Well, let's just throw it into the backpack if it'll let us. Into backpack. Excellent. And now we can drop the mug and our hands are free again. Uh, let's continue to go this way. Uh, I don't know what that means. Serpent woman skeleton. Can I eat yet? <laughs> we're really full, but we're not hungry anymore. 
Um, let's remove our shirt. <laughs> and let's see if we can butcher this skeleton. Oh, we can't. Okay. Serpent Woman's scale. Of course, she has a lot of bones. Yeah, skull. Very interesting. How much does this, uh, this scale weigh? Might have to weigh it. But where would we find a scale? It's only worth, it's only uh, one. Okay, let's drop the scale. And I just want to see real quick, we won't do a whole lot of uh, creating things, but I just wonder if we can carve anything maybe out of the scale. Nope, just the bone. Um, let's just serpent man bone. I turned into a man from a woman. I'm assuming rings hardly weigh anything. They're probably anything you make this, through this way. Let's um, how close are we on carving? I bet if we butchered her up, or not butchered her up, but carved her up, it's been a long time since I've even tried to make a macro. But if you guys, oops, if you guys haven't seen a macro before, let's see if I can figure it out real quick. I just don't remember what the the keys are. Creating macros. Control R. Control S to save. Control L to load. Control U plus the number to repeat. Oh, that's cool. And control P to play. Okay. So if we do control R to record, and then we do X, create carve bone, enter, um, let's make it a ring because those seem to be easy, enter, enter, and then control, oh, I forget, control, crap, and finish recording, same thing, so control R, there we go, now if we do control P, haha, so we've made some not amazing rings but some of them are getting better minuses so nothing is the worst minus is one step up from that a plus is one step up from that a asterisk would be one step up from that there we go and then the um thing that looks like um kind of like that but turn the other way uh, where the lines are just going across would be the best i believe i don't think i missed anything in between all right and we're out so now, we're probably holding a billion different rings. And like any good bearer, we'll wear them all. I wonder how many of these you can wear. Apparently all of them. <laughs> we're the bling bear, Bobo the bling bear. Okay, what is this? Clearly we're getting closer reptile woman. The other one's a serpent woman. I feel like we're getting closer to um, Whatever happened around here. We're not... Oh, we are sneaking. Good. Ooh, an A. What's an A? Giant... Uh, Bez... Be Betan Colossus's skeleton. Amphibian woman's skeleton. Uh, okay. I don't know who Betan was. But apparently he failed. Someone who could shoot. I'm not even paying attention to what might have been below us. More stuff. Probably should be. And there's a little way down if I want. What an interesting little structure. I'm not sure we're really going to be able to show you anything new down here. I was kind of hoping we'd run into something alive there sure is a lot of dead stuff down here oh we're not tracking anymore are we let's throw that on just in case if there was something alive we should see the the um it's vision cone Back there. It's 
it's flashing. That just means there's something underneath it. Upward slope. Nothing over there. Now it's quite possible uh, that we could have gotten kind of like a quest or something or offered our services to clean this place out. Uh, obviously we did not do that because we're a bear. But if you're playing by yourself, you're playing a different type of character, or you're role-playing something that would allow that, then by all means do. Okay, some of these procedurally generated structures are being less... I can hear people talking. Ooh, that's interesting. An old man. Such an odd structure. There's a hole above us. Oh, these are like the sewers. I get it. I get stuff. Okay. Well, now I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> so these are like the sewers underneath the town. Uh, we can't get a better look at it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is because there's these little holes above us. See? And I believe those are the grates that are in the middle of the streets that we were walking on earlier. However, finding our way out of here is going to be a pain in the butt. It's just going to take a while. So I'll try to make my way back as quickly as possible. We could actually uh, hear people talking above us, I think is what was going on there. There's the grate. So yeah, we're probably hearing stuff happening there. It's hard for me just to go back. I always want to find something interesting. Actually, in real life, I have, a, I have a hard time following the same ground over and over again. I'll take longer and go out of my way just to see something new. It's just kind of my personality. So when I say I'm going to go back and then I start taking all these little side routes, I apologize to an extent. But that's my personality. There we go. Okay, and we're back. People are still talking. Okay, nothing going on there. Well, I guess I should probably get out of here. We'll try to find either the a new tavern or we'll go back to the one we already found. And we'll try to see maybe something different's going on. That's where I drop that. I'd love to see if we can actually find those guys that are talking right outside the wall here. But I pretty much already tried going all the way to the right and nothing went over there. So, down, really? Okay, we'll go down. There we go. I mean, while we're here, if we wanted to, we could always just butcher all these guys. It'll raise our butchering ability. Cobalt skeleton. We can make a macro for something like that as well. We could also use our old macro that's still going on and just play it right there and make a bunch of cobalt. Oh, there's the, some exceptional cobalt bone rings. 
course, we can always make him out human, too. How much bone is there? Three, huh? One, two, three. Um, yeah, so if we want to record another one, what we would do is we want to control S to save this one as carve bone ring. And then we would um, record a new one where we X, go down to butcher, go over one, hit enter, enter, done, control R. We can save this one as butcher. And then control L will let us choose which one we want. We want butcher and then we can just hit play for that again and get those other skeletons that were there. trying to see how many are there. I should probably look first. A couple there. So we can go play, 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 play. So macros can be great if you if you like to do a long-term sort of thing, which not a whole lot of people, um, or sorry, not a whole lot of people. Uh, you don't really see on this channel all that much because I think it's just too dull to watch me set up macros and do this stuff. I can do that on my own and enjoy it quite a bit, but um, for your guys' sake, I'm not gonna sit there throwing a rock against the wall, even with a macro for 30 minutes, uh, just to make it where I can throw things better. Okay, our butchering skill is getting pretty far up there and we're really close to uh, kind of finishing off our carving ability so let's let's load that and just play that a bit let's do a ton until it freaks out on me there we go oh what just happened i accidentally made something so if there wasn't hmm birth of a teacher yeah, that probably wasn't very good. But now we can look at, uh, we're, I think that went up. We're, our competent bone cover definitely went up. And uh, a claimed ambusher, I guess. Fortunately, we accidentally made a new form of poetry or something. And did we scroll stuff off the bottom of the page? We did. Okay, so that's enough of that. There's still a butcher that guy real quick. I mean, we are a bear. You get a bunch of human meat. Maybe not a bunch. Where's my human meat? There it is. And we eat it. And why not just wear all these rings? We're like a inter-ethnicity known for wearing a lot of jewelry here, bear. Okay. Ethnicity isn't fair. Culture. We're Mr. T, but with skeleton stuff. Ah, pity the cobalt. Okay. Now I'm a little lost. I'm not sure exactly where our way up is. I think it was to the left further, but... No reason not just run around, because we're not even stealthing anymore. Headlong into something that'll kill us, probably. If I thought there was something interesting down here, I wouldn't mind spending all this time underground, but... I don't know, you guys let me know, because this is basically the end of this episode anyways. Oh! We went all the way around it. I bet this is a bad guy. And luckily he's sleeping. Yeah, concave no nose bridge cobalt bowman. Okay, let's uh, let's look at maybe what we can do here. He is sleeping, so we should be able to pretty much just destroy him. However, Alt Y. You're gonna have to wait till the next video to see what happens exactly here. So thanks for watching, folks. I will see you all then. Bye-bye.